Bitcoin, we keep up with the good news. You want to know the last information about the crypto world? Yes, then smash that like button because it's time for crypto news, finding the right crypto at tope. Yesterday was a good show. We are targeting Bitcoin on the $4,000 range. We came from a very good video uh, the other day where we talked about the ETF on BlackRock. But today we have more good news, which is that we have rumors that Fidelity is also going to fill an ETF for Bitcoin in spot. Maybe they are going to acquire Grayscale or maybe they're going to fill their own. So now we will have, if this is true, if this come into fruition, we'll have BlackRock and also Fidelity filing an ETF for Bitcoin. And the thing is that Fidelity is moving $4.5 trillion. So it's not a small player. With all this news, Bitcoin is in the rocket to the moon. And we broke the $27,000 line, which is awesome. Maybe we have here the platform for that rocket to go so high in the sky. We are even breaking in the weekly chart, this moving average of $200 that we told you in the last video is the most important thing right now. Maybe finally we have this cap and handle pattern for Bitcoin and we are going to get $52,000. We'll see about that. Will Clemente telling us here that the deadline for the BlackRock ETF approval will be in eight months. And you have to remember that we are 10 months out for Bitcoin halving. So Crypto Tia is telling us here that as halving is coming, some of these uh, huge players know that. They know this is going to be a game theory. It's going to be a zero zoom uh, for the winners. So they know supply is going to be less and less and they want, they want to get all the Bitcoin they can be for the halving. This is the theory. We are around 300 days away for that halving of Bitcoin. Remember these videos, we told you everything about this in Spanish and English about the halving. Watch them all and you can see that we are following probably this blue line of the second halving of Bitcoin. That would mean we can be around $40,000 in August, we'll see about that. That would be so good. But any case, we have also these charts. Uh, those are related with Litecoin halving, which is just 40 days away. And remember that from this point, it was mostly going down for Litecoin. And also in the same period of time, mostly for Bitcoin, with some going up and down in the yellow line, but not in the white one. So we'll see about this. We will follow it here in fun on the right. If you find our content of interest, just smash that like button because you help us a lot. Maybe share us in your social media. Thank you very, very much. Ethereum is finding uh, the line we wanted it to find. So hopefully we find their support. And now we have this piece of information, interesting one. Ethereum proposal is seeking to increase validator limit from 32 Ethereum to more than 2000. So now here we have people greedy. They have a lot of Ethereum and they want more. They say this will, this will make things cheaper for these validators and uh, better for the entire ecosystem. But at the same time, some concerns about whales doing this and so more centralization of the staking. Any case, if this gets approved, <clears throat> the minimum will be still 32 if you want to stake it uh, in your own means. And talking about Ethereum, Etherscan unveiled an AI fueled code reader tool to analyze smart contract code. So this might be interesting uh, if you want to uh, feel safe uh, with the tokens and understand how they work, etc., etc. But they are telling you this is AI generated, so it might have uh, mistakes. So don't assume answers are correct and it's a beta version. So be careful with that. If you use it 
I leave you the link in the description if you want to dig deeper. Remember that for safe, I use dextools.io. They will tell you about uh, the intrinsic nature of the tokens and the smart contracts. So go to dextools.io and learn about them. Also, you have there a lot of uh, information in the DeFi ecosystem. Like, for example, about the meme coins. Those are going up and down today. My pepper is still flat. We'll see because I want to buy more here. Maybe it will go there and I will just bid to me our partners. You have link in the description and you have up to 100 euros. No commission if you have a new account or maybe uh, you don't want to buy one of the 200 cryptos that you can buy with them. Maybe you want to bring the cryptos you have to bid to me. Why would you do that? Because you're going to have 2% of them. Link in the description with all you need to know about it. So install right now the app and you help us indirectly. Thank you very much. The market is mostly in the green. The bubbles are mostly in the green too. And the most important ones trying to keep on green we are neutral in the psychological sentiment in the market and we have good news like for example mastercard is feeling for a new trademark application to develop crypto a uh, blockchain software we had this from fidelity remember the etf they are rumored to be filing and they have here uh this article now deleted where they are saying that uh, it's not possible to ban this technology that we can try to ban it, but it's not going to be possible. Also, it's a very good technology and mostly in a uh, story of civilization, the better technology is uh, adopted. And also they talk about the game theory where uh, states in the world will be forced, whether they like Bitcoin or not, to buy some Bitcoin because the ones that have Bitcoin are going to be the winners. So good information for Bitcoin. More good things to know is like dollar is now going up and Bitcoin is going up too at the same time, which is crazy. And what will happen with the market yesterday uh, in United States uh, was a closed market day. Remember that another good thing from Bitcoin is that it's open 24-7, 365 days a year. And Michael Saylor knows it and loves Bitcoin and defends it. Let's listen to him in this interview in Bloomberg. Yeah, I, the, the thing that backs Bitcoin is 400 exahash of digital power. To put that in perspective, that's as much uh, power energy as the entire U.S. Navy uses in its fleet about 12 and a half gigawatts. And also it's a fleet of 5 million Bitcoin ASIC miners spread everywhere in the world that generates so much hash rate that if an AI took over every computer on earth, all the smartphones, all the computers at Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, all of those computers couldn't dent the Bitcoin network. It's an extremely powerful digital energy network. And because of that, you, you don't have to put a billion dollars in a bank that's run uh, in Lebanon or Argentina or the U.S. or Turkey. You can put the billion dollars onto the Bitcoin network, and the Bitcoin network is nation state resistant. If all of China turned every computer against the Bitcoin network, they couldn't stop it. And so Bitcoin represents a new way uh, to store your assets and, and in fact, the most secure computer network in the world. Crazy and very, very interesting information. Uh, thank you to Michael Saylor to defending always uh, Bitcoin. And he's so happy because he is a Bitcoin maximalist. And now Bitcoin is 50% uh, uh, up uh, in dominance. So this is uh, where it was two years ago. So maybe that's good for Bitcoin or maybe not, because we start with the bad information today. Uh, the idea is that the last time that we were in this line was here and you can see that price of Bitcoin went a little bit up, but then down. And the next time was here and you can see that uh, some time later we had uh, this uh, 2018 uh, COVID fiasco. 
So yeah, not really good uh, for uh, the uh, price of Bitcoin. Um, any case, uh, we'll see about that. Remember to watch all our videos to get the best information. More bad news. The EMF envisions a new class of cross-border payment platform with single ledger. Whether it is a CBDC or not, they want to control the money. Let's listen to this terrible information from the EMF Deputy Managing Director. This is what we call programmability. We think CBDC can improve financial inclusion and own and what kind of use is through what we call programmability. That is CB programmability. Uh, this is a very bad thing. Uh, remember, so now with these systems, you have your digital money, but they decide if you can use it or not, if you are a good citizen or not, according to them. So even uh, that money uh, can be for a use in a, mm, a special day and for a special kind of food or whatever service they want uh, you to buy. So scary, a very dystopic future where we lost all our freedom. So let's see if Bitcoin can help us from that. This is also terrible from uh, Altcoin Daily. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who's using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control absolute. on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce that. For example, in also the technology to enforce it. So scary. Thank you, Alco and Daily, for your daily videos. And we need help. We need people like Elon Musk, who said, Offer me money. Offer me power. I don't care. Offer me money. Offer me power. I don't care. He wants the truth to be out there. So let's keep on fighting. Now in UK, crypto stablecoin laws are approved by Parliament's Upper House. The financial system and markets bill stands to recognize crypto as a regulated activity and stablecoins as means of payment under existing laws. So we can see we have a fight being fought in U Europe. Legislation for digital euro is put on hold. A bill covering privacy and distribution of the central bank digital currency originally scheduled for June 28th will be delayed. It's so difficult to regulate this, maybe even impossible. So that's why they have to delay these deadlines. And more terrible things. Remember, Terra Luna will now do no responsible of that has been sentenced to four months in jail in Montenegro for trying to board a plane to Dubai with forged documents. He says that uh, he uh, he didn't want to do that and he uh, was tricked by government. I don't know. Maybe you keep on using a ledger device. If so, you need to know that Firefox is not going to allow that anymore. So you better use Chrome or Brave in order to keep on using your layer and now about treasure they say that you can recover also with layer your pin if you lose it it's a complicated method you can only try 16 times with treasure only three times with layer and uh, the process is, is, is expensive it will take you like two million dollars if you have less than two million dollars it's not worth it but now again rising concerns about this possibility of hacking your device if they find it. And now about technology here, you can see the school stuff or maybe this topic. This is a drone controlled by your glasses. Incredible stuff. I like it. I want it to be utopic and not this topic. Like the TV series Black Mirror, we have the season six already. I watched the first episode yesterday. So if you want to watch it and think about the future and technology, go to Netflix or any other source you can find. Here we have more drones. This is a drone spectacle in Shenzhen, China. 
amazing things we can do uh, with drones, with technology. Really, really interesting uh, spectacle. And here you can see fight between robots that I love too. Uh, two terrible machines trying to uh, be alive. So interesting, different methods uh, for fighting. So how do you like this? I just love it. And you need to know that in Spain, we are drinking more beer than ever. And we are doing that alone at home. Don't do that. Let's work on drinking at least with some people around. We need vacation for sure. But don't be like this guy warm going into the sea with the face down. We'll have eventually our vacation. Just be patient. Don't be too crazy. And now let's watch some cool stuff like this girl. Uh, she's playing soccer with just uh, four years and she is amazing. Uh, she doesn't cry if she uh, goes to the floor. She just keep on playing like if she is a really Bitcoiner a crypto bro. What about these two bros? The dog and the bird. So beautiful. We need this kind of stuff when we talk about crypto. We need the cat dance and all its help. And keep on being amazed by things like this cat is amazed that this thing can fly. What? What? Like what? What can fly? Yes, it can, little cat, as you will one day eventually fly to the moon with some help like with this cat that will help you drink some water so smart and do not prank your friends with crypto like man i want more crypto not just that little give me more go out there and find some love like this lucky rider just found it and we will keep on researching and we'll share with you the last information about the crypto world and more cats. Smash that like button. Crypto news, fun on the right, health, money, love, party in peace, and the best is yet to come. Crypto a tope to the moon.